Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one very interesting question from radical equations. Equation is 3x equal to cube root of 3x square minus 12 whole square plus 108x. We have to find out real solutions only. So let's get started by considering cubing both sides. So I will write here 3x whole cube. Left hand side whole cube and right hand side whole cube will be radical free. So I will write 3x square minus 12 whole square plus 108x. Now 3 is common in this bracket. So I will write over there 9 because it will come as 3 square. So in bracket it would be x square minus 4. And 108x can be written as 9 times 12x. Now left hand side 3x whole cube is 27x cube. Now this equation is divisible by 9. So let us divide this equation with 9. I will be having 3x cube in the LHS. Right hand side x square minus 4 whole square it is. And then I will write plus 12x. Now expand this a minus b whole square. So a square minus 2ab plus b square plus 12x 3x cube. Write all the term to RHS. So I will be writing x power 4 then minus 3x cube then minus 8x square then plus 12x, then plus 16 equal to 0. This equation is one quartic equation and if you will see the coefficients or multipliers, it can be easily converted into reciprocal equation. So let us convert by dividing this equation with x square as x is norm 0. If I will put x equal to 0, 16 will be LHS, right hand side is 0. So x equal to 0 is not solution of this quartic equation. I can divide this equation with x square. So let me divide. I will write x power 4 minus 3x cube minus 8x square plus 12x plus 16 divided by x square and right hand side will be 0 by x square 0. So I will be writing x square minus 3x minus 8 plus 12 over x plus 16 over x square equal to 0. Now let us write first and last term because of this is reciprocal equation. We will consider the same degree in the numerator denominator term in a bracket. So 16 by x square. Then it is minus 3x plus 12 over x. Minus 8 equal to 0. Now from this bracket or these terms, I will consider minus 3 common. So x square plus 16 over x square. Minus 3 common. x minus. 4 over x minus 8 equal to 0. Now substitution time. I will consider x minus 4 over x equal to suppose t. So let me write here x minus 4 over x equal to t. Take a square both sides. So x square plus 16 over x square minus 8 equal to t square or x square plus 16 over x square equal to t square plus 8. So here I will be writing t square plus 8. Let's write t square plus 8 minus 3t minus 8 equal to 0. Remember our substitution is x minus 4 over x equal to t. 
Now I can cancel this 8 with minus 8. So it will be left only t square minus 3t equal to 0. t square minus 3t equal to 0. Take t common. So in bracket t minus 3 equal to 0. From here I can write either t equal to 0 or t minus 3 equal to 0. Now t minus 3 is 0 that means t equal to 3. Now what was t? t was our substitution x minus 4 over x. So let me write here x minus 4 over x. So t equal to 0 I will write x minus 4 over x equal to 0. Now x square minus 4 equal to 0 x square is equal to 4 x is equal to plus minus 2. Now come to the second equation t equal to 3. I will write x minus 4 over x equal to 3. Now x square minus 4 equal to 3x. x square minus 3x minus 4 equal to 0. So far we have calculated two solutions both are real plus 2 and minus 2. Let's solve this quadratic equation. x square minus 3x minus 4 equal to 0. So I will write x square using factorization. I will write minus 3 as minus 4x plus x. It is minus 3x. And if I will take the product then it is constant term minus 4. Now take x common. x minus 4. 1 common. x minus 4 equal to 0. So x minus 4 is common and x plus 1 is common. So from x minus 4 equal to 0, we can write x equal to 4. And from x plus 1 equal to 0, we can write x equal to negative 1. So overall solution so far we have calculated that is x is equal to plus 2, minus 2, minus 1 and 4. I will verify all the four solutions. So let us consider minus 1, minus 2, then 2 and 4. Let me write here minus 1. Verification. Now I will put LHS x equal to minus 1. So left hand side is minus 3. Right hand side. I will write cube root of 3x square. So 3 minus 12 minus 9 minus 9 square. Let me write. Plus 108 times minus 1. So better is to write minus 108. Now it is cube root of 81 minus 108 which we can write further minus 27 and minus 27 is the cube of minus 3. So we can cancel this cube and cube root. So RHS will come out minus 3 which is matching with minus 3. So x equal to minus 1 is true solution. Now let us consider x equal to minus 2. So minus 2 if I will write LHS will be 3 times minus 2 minus 6 and RHS I will write cube root of 3x square so 4 times 3 12 12 minus 12 0 108 times minus 2 so let me write here 108 times minus 2 in the bracket so cube root of minus 216 we know that 6 cube is 216. So I will write this is minus 6 whole cube. Now again cube and cube root will be over. So RHS is coming out minus 6. Which is matching with the LHS. So minus 2 is also true solution. Now let us consider third solution. Which is plus 2. 
let me write here x is equal to plus 2 lhs will be equal to 3 times 2 so 6 and rhs i will write equal to cube root of 3x square so 4 times 3 12 minus 12 is 0 so no need to write the square term 108 times 2 so let me write directly 108 times 2 is 216 cube root of 216 is 6 cube now cube root and cube term will be cancelled out so 6 will be there which is our lhs hence x equal to 2 is correct solution true solution verified solution now let us consider the fourth value fourth solution x equal to 4 now i will write our lhs first 4 times 3 12 so rhs should match the value 12 okay cube root of 3x square so 4 square is 16 16 times 3 48 48 minus 12 36 whole square then 108 times 4 108 times 4 now 36 square is 12 let me write here 1296 plus 108 times 4 so this value will be if you will check 324 432 okay now if you will add both the values 432 with this value so it is 1700 let me write cube root of 1728 and we know that 1728 it is 12 cube now again we can cancel cube and cube root so what is coming out that is 12 so LHS equal to RHS. So this value is also verified. So our solution, final solution becomes X is equal to plus minus 2, negative 1 and 4. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.